Welcome back, everyone, to another segment of The MCR Mac and Me. My name's TJ, and in this segment, uh, I'm going to talk about uh, some uh, uh, developments this past week involving uh, involving elections, obviously. And for starters, uh, and I'm going to th- I'm going to lump these three all together, though they didn't necessarily happen at the same time. But uh, that, all of this is fairly recent. L.A. Times, Washington Post, and a publication I have little to any knowledge of called The Nation. These are all left leaning and in previous elections have endorsed the Democrat. OK, well, these three publications uh, are not endorsing Kamala Harris. They are not endorsing any candidate. OK, uh, they need to they need to remove themselves from politics and and right. and re- yeah, yeah, really, you know, gag me with a splintered wooden soup spoon, you know, and and get back to the reporting of the news, blah, blah, blah. You know, uh, a lot of uh, a lot of editors and and uh, whatnot, they're they're uh, they're all upset. Uh, some of their senior editors are resigning in protest. And, and as I was hearing about some of these resignations, you know, the Shakespeare quote from Hamlet came to mind. Uh, you doth protest too much, you know, and, right. uh, you know, bye bye, you know, go just just go away. And, uh, you know, pardon the pun, but with these publications, could the writing be on the wall? <laughs> you know, Well, I think uh, well, I speculate. I don't I don't really know, of course, but. I, I speculate that they don't want their name. They don't want to pick the loser in the horse race. Well, that is the suspicion. Because and one of them is an old nag. That's right. Yeah. Uh, and uh, things just haven't been going Kamala Harris's way. That doesn't mean she's going to lose. It just means it's going to be harder for her to win. Okay. It's going to be harder for her friends to manufacture boats. In exactly. The night, in the middle of the exactly. night, because people are going to be looking this time. Uh, and and as far as some of these missteps, you know, to to <laughs> to, to make a play on words of of a, like say a hockey ter- hockey term where you know you went to a hockey game and watched a fight break out or, or however the, however the saying goes, you know, uh, the CNN town hall. You went to turn on a town hall and a one person debate broke out. You know, I mean, right. she was literally arguing with Anderson Cooper and yeah. it, 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 and I, one of the things that ought to be concerning to anyone on the bubble here is she gets angry, very angry when she when she's when things aren't going her way. Oh, exactly. Exactly. Uh, she had a rally in Georgia. Bruce Springsteen sang for the crowd. And after he got to singing as she began to give her spiel, people began to leave. <laughs> well, they, they you know? came to hear him, not her. Exactly, exactly. Uh, then she had a, a rally in Texas, and everyone thought, gee, why Texas? Well, then there then it became the whole Beyonce thing, because she's from Texas, and Beyonce's trying to uh, fancy herself a, a Texas country girl, you know? But uh, so they kind of ha- led the crowds to crowds to believe that Beyonce would perform like Bruce Springsteen did. Okay. And, uh, and Beyonce did not perform. All she did was speak for about six minutes. And at the point where Kamala Harris took the stage and details are, uh, not all the details are, are pretty much given here, but she was getting booed. And something was happening to the right. And the reason why I can say that with such uh, such uh, uh, surety is the the people that sat behind her, which are her her diehard supporters, a lot of their heads were looking to the right. Something was happening to the right and you could hear booze and everything else. So clearly something was going on in the crowd. And and Kamala was up there at the podium as as before getting upset you know you know what hey what's it like to be heckled you know she was right. oh, she and, was being heckled too well, by you know, the way I, you know i i of course have no idea because i didn't see it and based on what you're telling me they didn't show it 
But I have to wonder if they were trying to stop people from leaving. <laughs> I don't know, man, but she she got upset. And and like I said, I mean, aside from her being heckled and getting upset, so many of the heads behind her looking to the right, their right, you know, the viewers left, right. uh, you know, the people behind her and Kamala right. Harris, gotcha. they're right. Uh, something was happening uh, stage right. But, uh, you know, uh, something was going on for so many of the heads. And like I said, it wasn't just one head. I, I, I'm. It was like the majority of the heads you could see behind her looking to the right. Like, wow, you know, some, hey, something was going on. I could hear Trump uh, saying, look at, look at the amazing amount of heads behind me. Yep. Uh, something else I'm compelled to throw in here with, with all this, since we're talking about uh, events at her rallies. Houston rally. She had a group of doctors up on stage singing her praises about uh, women's uh, health care and basically the right to abortion. OK. Right. Uh, and as the doctor's speaking, a person in the crowd has a medical emergency. And, you know, I mean, other than I, needing, an, needing an instant abortion, something other than that. Well, here, here's the thing. As the, and I got this out of the right scoop, too, by the way. The, the author from this right scoop article mentions, he goes, <clears throat> Because they had video of it. Uh, the doctor goes, uh, there's something, someone down here in need of medical attention. Yet all the doctors just on, on stage just stood there and watched, you know. And and the author of the Right Scoop article, he made the comment, perhaps that person should have yelled out, I need an abortion. Maybe they would have helped her then. You <laughs> I know? know what I was saying, right, exactly. But uh, I had to cough there. Sorry. They could have yelled, I have some money. They'd run to then. They'd run yeah. to her then. So uh, I just wanted to I just wanted to share all these uh, kind of mixed assorted uh, details of things that aren't necessarily going her way. Uh, that's all I have for this segment. Uh, uh, you know, just if you haven't voted yet, make sure you vote and uh, in person, in person and uh, one time only. <laughs> right. You know? So. uh that's all I got. And uh, we'll talk to you. We'll see you in the next segment. Thanks, everyone. As always, be safe. Watch your six and don't tread on me.